Praise God. Hallelujah. You are rolling. I'm rolling. Hallelujah. Well, welcome everybody. Happy Sunday morning and happy first of May. Amen. Yeah. Feliz domingo por la mañana y feliz primer día de mayo. Amen. Hey, uh -huh. May 5th coming up, remember? Cinco de mayo is coming up. So, and let's yeah. be happy. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend, a church you can call home. Yeah. Where we honor God, love families, serve others, and pursue excellence. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. So we want to welcome all our NBC family, all the visitors, and all of you joining us by audio and video. So God bless you. God loves you, and we love you. Yeah. Just prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Yes. And we never want you to leave the way you came. We want to we want you to leave change. We want you to leave excited, you know? Yeah. And that's what you do on a daily basis when you spend time with him. You know what? I'm excited and I'm ready for any giants waiting on me. If they're waiting on me, they're fools. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but if they're waiting, I'm gonna let them know. Amen. And I'm gonna give them what God has yeah. in yeah. me for them. Amen. And I'm gonna let them know that greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. We need to do the same thing. So we're going to continue with following Jesus. Amen. Follow yeah. Jesus. And yeah. I guess you could say it's part two. I've got a couple of nuggets I want to read to you before we get started. Take these off. First one, I gave the church one of these. It's called, as we follow him. It says, burn the bridges that lead back to your old way of living. Amen. If you don't prepare yourself, if you don't spend time with him, if you don't recharge your spiritual batteries on a daily basis and keep them charged up, they're going to get low. Yeah. And you know what? When it happens when your car battery goes dead, you go to start and there's nothing not, there. Not when, you, when your spiritual batteries are low and you try to start, yeah. ain't nothing going to be there. So the world's going to eat you up. The world's going to have you. Amen? Yes, but it says this. First scripture is this. King James says, Be ye followers of God as dear children. Yes, Ephesians 5 and, and 1 in the Amplified says, Therefore, become imitators of God. Copy yes. Him. Follow His examples as well, beloved children. Imitate their Father. Remember, you are born again and you're a child of God. Don't go around calling yourself anything else yes, than yes. a child of God. Yes. You know, a lot of us go back and, and say, Well, you sin, you know, so you're, you're out of fellowship with God. Well, you may be out of fellowship, but all you have to say is, Lord, I confess my sin and yes. get it out. Wash. Yeah. Have a yeah. have a good washout, you know. Yes. But you're still a child of God yeah. because you've accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Yeah. Amen. I don't care who told you what or who says what. Go by what the Word of God says. Amen. And you're a child of God. I don't have to meet their qualifications. God has already qualified me, anointed me, uh, called me, and sent me out to do amen. His work and follow Him. Amen. And He's done the same thing for you. So don't listen to the world. Forget about the mindsets that you yeah. heard from whatever. Just let them go. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Give yourself a spiritual bath yeah. with yeah. the word of God. Amen. Yeah. St. Corinthians 5.17. We, we know these, but it's okay, you know. We just want to go over them. Yes. St. Corinthians 5.17. This is just the beginning. It says, therefore, if any man, person, be yeah. in Christ... He is a new creature. All things are passed away. Yes. Behold, all, all things amen. have become new. Yes. Amen. amen. And the uh, um, New Living Translation says the same thing. St. Corinthians 5.17 says, This means that anyone, anyone who belongs to Christ, do you belong to Christ? If you do, you are a child of God. Uh -huh. It says anyone who belongs to God, to Christ, has become a new person. Yes. The old life is gone and the new life has begun. Yeah. Amen. So don't let people, don't let the enemy, well, the enemy, Satan, or people that he uses come and tell you that you're still the same, that you're no good, or whatever they use to try to pull you down. I say, I'm a new creature in Christ. You know what? You had a spiritual birth on the inside. You can't see it. It's a spiritual birth. Amen. People only see the physical you and they'll see you and say you look the same no look that no changes to me you know what changes they're going to see they're going to see changes of what they hear you say that you didn't used to say they're going to see you not do things you used to do say wait a minute and you go 
not hang out with the same old losing crowd. <laughs> Amen. You're not gonna hang out with them old stinking skunks anymore. All right, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna hang out with new people. God's gonna bring new people around you. Amen. Amen. And when they see you, they're eventually they're gonna say, you know, he's changed, she's changed. Yeah. I want what they got. Yes. Amen. When you are an example people are going to come to you because I've said it many times you're the closest thing to a Bible they'll ever see okay. you're the closest thing to a Bible they'll ever uh -huh. walk by yeah. or be close to that's you because they'll never step out into a church building mm -hmm. but you'll see them out there wherever you happen to be yeah, going uh, vacationing wherever you happen to be uh, visiting wherever you happen to be working at yes so don't hide it, amen? Don't be pretending. Remember them leaky Christians? Yeah. Those are part-time Christians. Uh -huh. I'm the only part-time when I come here. Uh -huh. When I'm out there, I'm with my buds, you know? <laughs> hey, I hang out with the guys, you know? Right. I hang out with the girls, you know? And I'm gonna be like them, no? Mm. God knows, you can't be yeah. pretending. And you know who knows the most? <laughs> the enemy. Yeah. So you can't fool him, amen. All right, amen. <laughs> praise yeah. God. So preach yourselves ready to receive, amen? Uh, grab your Bibles, mm -hmm. and let's make this declaration together, amen? amen. You, Praise Lord. God. Thank you, Lord. Uh, this is my Bible. Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking about the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. I like that. That's a good yeah. confession. That was one I read. I want to read you another one. I call them uh, spiritual nuggets here. Stepping out daily as you step out, out of your boat, your closet, or whatever has held you back. Mm -hmm. He has not given you the spirit of fear. Step out in faith. Mm -hmm. And with a winning attitude daily, expect great things from God. Amen. Attempting great things for God. He sends out his he sent out his disciples with power and authority. He's given us power and authority. Yes. Are you using it? Right. Amen. You gotta use it. You gotta submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. He's not gonna hang out with you anymore. You gotta tell him. That's that's authority. Amen. Standing on the word. Know that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Yes, yes. Know that greater is he that is in you than yes. he that is in the world. Amen. Yeah, praise, praise God. Lord. So know that the God, that God is bigger than any problem yes, you yes. may be facing. It's time we know the truth. Mm -hmm. Because it's the truth that's going to set you free. Yes. I'm going to be free. I don't want to be a prisoner anymore. You know, yeah. don't be a prisoner of your past. It's mm -hmm. gone. Don't hang out over there no more. We're going to press on with the things yeah. of God. Yeah. Let that go. Amen. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so we're going to continue with we're going to continue with following God following Jesus follow love and serve him with passion you know let me read, read this to you passion is the greatest need in the church today yes it's the greatest need in the church today there's no passion you know mm -hmm. uh, uh, work or uh, professional players sports they have passion yeah. People have passion in doing what they do. Yes, they do. Amen. But when it comes to the things of God, mm -hmm. there's no passion. You know, I've shared with this with you before. Um, when we come, we, we brought the, the, the world in the church. Mm -hmm. And we are the church. We brought it here and we come expecting to be entertained all the time. Mm -hmm. But we're not to be entertained. Yes. We are God's army. Yes. We're God's warriors. Yes. Amen. And we come here and we are to be enforced. Mm -hmm. Amen. The army is em empowered. Mm -hmm. Empowered. Amen. We're empowered to go and do what God has called us to do. Mm -hmm. And say, hey, you know, brother, sister, you can do all things to us. Yes. You know, I just want to let you know that, you know, I've been watching you. I've been looking at you, you know, and, 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 and you're doing great and you're growing and I'm proud of you encourage one another yes. as we go out into amen. the world Thank and do Lord. God's work. Amen? Yes. But you know there's a passion lacking in the body of Christ. We need it more in the body of Christ than the world. That's it. You know, the world out there is passionate about what they do mm -hmm. and they don't mind who they hurt That's it. or what they do. They mm -hmm. just want to get it out and be passionate about yeah. what they do. 
Yeah. I want to be passionate, you know, and say, hey, <laughs> tell me, what did you do? Or how did you do this? Well, pray, first of all, I want to say, praise God. Thank you, Lord, for being my Lord and Savior and giving me the talents and the gifts that I have to do what I do. Well, we don't want to hear that. Well, that's too bad. Bye. <laughs> Interview's over. <laughs> all right. Follow love and serve him with passion. Taking a fresh look at giving it all to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's called surrender totally yeah. to him. Yes. I think last week we, 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 we talked about, I have decided to follow Jesus. Uh -huh. So the world needs to be ready. The world, for me, is going to change. And I'm gonna serve God. I'm gonna. I have decided to serve Him, mm -hmm. no matter what the world is saying, no matter what the world is doing. I have decided to follow Him, yes. and there's no turning back. Right, right. There's no turning back. I'm gonna press on with the things of God, mm. walking the walk, and talking the talk, mm. watching your words and your actions. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come on. Be ready. A couple of scriptures that we uh, used last week was uh, Matthew 16, 24. Then Jesus said unto his disciples, If any man, any person, will come after me, let him deny himself. Take up his cross and follow me. Follow me. Yes. Mark 8, 34 says the same thing. It says, take up your cross uh -huh. and follow me. Not just once in a while, not just when you feel it, but right. every day. Yeah. All time says, follow me. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he's talking to you. He's not just talking to me. He's talking to you. Mm -hmm. he, he knows you better than you yes. know yourself. Yes. He knows every thing about you, good or bad. He knows yes. it all. And guess what? He loves you more than anybody else. Amen. And he's not giving up on you. Matthew 4, 19 and, uh, through 23 in the King James says, And he has said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. That's what he wants us to do. And they straight away left their nets and followed him. Amen. I mean, you talk about professional fishermen, mm -hmm. and he told he told them, "Follow me, and I'll to make you fishers of men." They just drop what they're doing. I mean, that's their income, and they just gonna drop whatever and follow Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what we did. We're following him, but he know he, he's gonna provide for you. He says he supplies all, all your needs. needs. Amen. So you just gotta trust him in faith, have faith, yes. and step yes. out in faith. Amen. That's it. Praise God. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. Yeah. And going on the hands, he, he saw two fishermen, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, mm -hmm. in a ship with Zebedee's, their father, mending their nets. And he called them. And they immediately left the ship yes. and their father and followed him. Yes. I mean, this is a good example for mm -hmm. us, okay? Sometimes, well, I don't want to leave them behind. <laughs> I don't want to do this. You know, uh, we'll serve you under our terms, our conditions. Mm -hmm. No, they professional people mm -hmm. just drop what they're doing and mm -hmm. follow him. Amen. And Jesus went about with Galilee, teaching in the synagogue and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manners of sickness and all manner of diseases amongst the people. And we can do the same thing. Amen. He said, lay hands on the sick and they shall be healed. Speak the word. Share the word. And you know, you're the greatest example. He says, they all came by the blood of the Lamb and the word of the testimonies. He's brought us all through something. And we, all of us, have a great testimony that we can share. And share it when He wants you to. Amen. Mark uh, 12, 24 says this, And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Yes. This is a first commandment. Mm. Romans 12, 11 says, Not lagging in diligence, fervence in uh, spirit, serving the Lord. Amen? Serve the Lord. Never be lazy, but work hard and serve Him enthusiastically. Amen? Just like whatever it is you like, and you do it excitedly. Do the same thing for God. Amen? Get rid of any passion killers. Yes. I don't know if you've heard of any passion killers, but here's a few. And I'm, you might have some yourself. But things that rob us of our joy, things that rob us of our victories, yes. things that stop us from fulfilling our daily walk, our daily walk, our life, our mission, in our mission, our race with Him. Amen. Learn to refire and spark our passion in following and serving Him. So don't let nobody put your fire out. Don't let nobody put your fire out. Amen. People. Enemy's going to see to it that he'll send 
things your way, distractions your way to put your fire out. Don't let nobody put your fire out. Amen. Keep following. Stay strong. Stay filled. Amen. Remember, we're three feet. We're three part being. We're a spirit. Feed the word. We have a soul, a mind, a will, emotions. You renew your mind with the word of God, and you flesh. Flesh wants to be leaky. Flesh wants to be lazy. Yes. <laughs> flesh wants to just do part time. When you go crucified, you go. Yeah. Just let them know that he's going to have to follow because mm -hmm. I'm strong in my spirit. Yeah. I'm renewing my mind to the things of God and the flesh has to follow. That's it. Amen. He's just going to have to follow. Crucified. Believe. Yeah, crucify. Don't Believers don't retire. They refire yes. on a daily basis. Not just once in a while. But you know, you want to refire. Uh -huh. the word we, we talked about last week on uh, Revelation uh, 3.16. Says God says, Jesus says, He said, He wants you hot, He wants you cold, mm -hmm. but not lukewarm. That's the leaky Christian. Oh, boy. We get lukewarm all the time. We only do part time things. We start mm -hmm. off on fire and we end up part time. Mm -hmm. We don't want to go there. Yeah. Because the enemy knows. Yes. The enemy knows your words. And he knows what you're saying. He knows where you're hanging out. Yes. And he, you're opening the door for the enemy to mm -hmm. come in. And we That's don't it. want that to happen. It. it says you retire from jobs, but never, never retire from following and serving God. That's it. Some of us act that way. We mm -hmm. stop. We just play church. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop using All excuses. Right. Listen, how many times I've heard this. <laughs> Pastor, I work all week, so the weekends, I just rest. I need all the rest I can get. <laughs> <laughs> I stay healthy all week, mm. and on weekends, I always get sick. <laughs> right? And you know, by sun, by Monday morning, they're healthy, and the sickness is gone, and oh my God. You did. Uh, <laughs> stop using excuses. Stop using him like a spare tire. Yes. Amen. Remember him only on emergencies? Well, I have a flat, you know, well, thank God I've got a spare tire. Well, I've got a spare God, you know, once in a while I, I need it. I'll call you when I need to. Yeah. That's the wrong attitude. Yeah. That's a part-time attitude. Mm -hmm. That's a leaky Christian talk. <laughs> That's it. Mark 12, uh, 20, excuse me, 29 through 31. Easy to read version. Jesus says, the first and most important commandment is this. Mm -hmm. People of Israel, listen, the Lord God is the only Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, yes. and with all your strength. The second most important commandment is this. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. These two commands are the most important. Amen. And listen, a command, you know, God gave us commandments. They're not suggestions. He says, command is an order given with authority. Yeah. Amen. That's a command. A command to direct with authority. A general who commands an army can give these orders. Mm -hmm. Jesus is our general. Amen. Jesus is our commander in chief. Yes. We're his soldiers. We're his body. He's the head. He's the general. And we are his army. Amen. And we're doing, we're following and doing Amen. his work here. Amen. Continuing his work here in the, in the, in the earth. Amen. Mm -hmm. He gives the orders and we follow. Command is not a suggestion. Well, you know what? Mm. When I feel like it. <laughs> if I feel like it. Uh -oh. If you want to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your choice is to obey yes. or disobey. Amen. Amazing how he gave us a free will. Yes. But it's your choice. Yes, Amen. Yes. You can say yes or no. There's two places you can go. Heaven or hell. But it's your choice. And he's not going to force himself on you and tell you which way to go. You need to make that choice yourself. Amen. Your choice. Obey. Mm -hmm. You will receive the blessings. Yes. My cup friend is over. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or you'll disobey. Mm -hmm. Suffer the consequences. Mm -hmm. Now you know when things are happening. Wait, let me do a spiritual uh, mm -hmm. uh a remembrance here. Yeah. What happened? What's going on? 
I left the door open. Mm. I said the wrong things. Mm. I did the wrong things. Mm. So confess it, get it out, mm. and get yourself in right standing with God. Get up and press on. He wants us to follow Him. When you follow Him, it means you're pressing on. Mm. Pressing on with Him. Yeah. So the church is a healing place for all. Spirit, soul, body. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. We just went through that a few minutes ago. James 5, 16 through 18 says in the NIV, Therefore, confess your sins to each other mm -hmm. and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and yeah. effective. This is you. If you're yeah. speaking the word of God, it is authority. Mm -hmm. It is powerful. Yes, it is yeah. powerful and effective yes. because I'm standing on it and I'm releasing my faith and believing. Lord's going to do this. Lord's already done this. He just yes. wants us to release His word. Yes. He says, I sent my word out and it goes and accomplishes what I send it out to do. Yes. It does not return to me void. That's it. Amen. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's how powerful the word of God is. Mm -hmm. that's, he tells us death and life are in the power of your words. Mm -hmm. In the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Death and life are in the power of the words you speak. Mm -hmm. So we need to be more careful and put a guard that we're speaking the right things. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, we're well, just kidding. Mm -hmm. Guess what? You still sow seeds because yes. words are seeds and you're sowing them. I won't even say it just to play around. Right, right. Uh, right. I was just joking, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> you just planted them. Yes. Elijah was a human being, even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, mm -hmm. and it did not rain on the land in three and a half years. Mm -hmm. Again, he prayed. And the heavens gave rain, yes. and the earth produced its crop. So listen, grow, go, and follow Jesus mm -hmm. with passion. Yes. Grow and go. Mature and go and do what he wants you to do. If you don't know what it is, then spend time with him. He'll tell you what it is he wants you to do. But you got to mature in the things of God. Grow, go, and follow Jesus in unity and with passion. Woo! The church is that healing place that we all need to meet at. Don't leave like you came. I mean, did you come with an attitude to receive? Yeah. Did you come with an attitude to say, Lord, here I am. I'm available. Use me. Mm -hmm. He's not against you. We, he's qualified us. We disqualify ourselves. Mm -hmm. He don't want us to do that. Amen. Don't think of yourself less than what he thinks about you. That's it. See yourself the way he sees right, you. Right. Amen. He sees you a winner. He sees yes. you a champion. Yeah. He sees you an overcomer. He sees you accomplishing things. Amen. He sees you fulfilling yeah. and completing what he called you to do. Yes. But you're not doing that. Too many distractions, too many things holding you back. Right. Especially me, because I can make the difference. I can make the change. Mm -hmm. I am not going to fall for that That's no it. more. Lord, yeah. give me the strength I need to press on and fulfill what you've Praise called God. me to do. Do Hallelujah. Yeah. Give it all to Him. Sunday after Sunday, day after day. We're still carrying, but you know, we're still carrying all the cares, all the worries, all the hurts, all the hate and all the jealousy. We're not. We're not trash cans. Mm, We're not it. dumpsters. Yes, yes. The Bible says we are the temple yes. of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. So we got to keep the temple clean. Amen. Amen. When you take your trash out to the dumpster, you leave it there. You don't take mm. it back. <laughs> so get all this trash out of you. Mm. Amen. As a matter of fact, you're not your own. Yes, yes. You're bought with a price. With price. Jesus bought you back. Mm. You be we belong to him. So we got to get this straight and start doing for him. Yeah. But you're not a trash can. You are the temple of the Holy Ghost. This is precious to him. See yourself precious the way he sees you. Amen. Yeah. I'm pushing back the amen to me now. <laughs> That's insane. But you know what? Sometimes we're doing the same thing and carrying the same thing and saying the same things. The same hurts over day after day, year after year, and we're expecting different results. Yes, I'm going to do this. You know, hey, my New Year's, uh, what do you call those? Uh, Resolutions. Resolutions, you know. Mm -hmm. We say it, we say it, we say it, we say it every, every time. And you know what? I never fulfill this. And we say we're going to change, but we don't. It's just like, that's insanity. 
saying it, saying it, but not doing it. Amen. <laughs> Obey his command, confess, release it, and be healed. Yeah. Don't accept the devil's lies and hold you back no more. Change and press on. That's what he says. Get up off your como se llama, and it's time to do something for him. But he says, get up, Lord, uh, yeah. I sin against you. Okay, uh -huh. confess it. Mm -hmm. He forgives you. Mm -hmm. Amen. He forgets about it and says, okay, it's time to press on. Yeah. You're still holding him back. You're mm -hmm. still holding on to it. And you're still, you know, confused about it. No, just let it go and press on. Come on now. Somebody needed that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. If you don't, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. He will not accept us half-hearted service. Mm -hmm. Being a jealous God, he wants all of us. Oh, yeah. I think uh, last week, keep going. Mm -hmm. Is there a few? I've decided to follow Jesus. Keep going. Well, go ahead, keep going. We, we went on. Keep going. Here we go. I was just going to read that to you. Amen. He wants all your life, not just one hour a week. That's it. He wants full-time children, mm -hmm. not part-time children right. or stepchildren. Amen. <laughs> right. He wants all of you. He wants us completely committed, completely surrendered, totally surrendered to him. Mm -hmm. He wants us, un he wants our unwavering loyalty. Amen. Committed, committed, committed. Amen. He wants us to be he wants to be first in our lives, you know. Hey, I don't care what priority you have. Just get the priority right. God first. Jesus first. And then whatever goes under there. Your wife, your husband, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. whatever. But that's your priority. God first. Get off the throne and put him on the throne. Amen. Some of us don't want to get off the throne. Get off the throne. <laughs> He desires to be at the top of our priority list. Yes. Hey, I spent many, many, many years in the military, and we have priority lists. But you know what? God was first on my priority list. Amen. And the rest of it came easy. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you serve Him first. Yes. He wants us to hunger for more of Him. Yes. Okay. You know what hunger means? Mm -hmm. Hunger means having relationship. Mm -hmm. Lord, I need you more. Lord, I need more of you. Lord, help me. Yes. That's hunger. We have, mm -hmm. we, we're going to have a relationship both ways. You know, some of us have a relationship like this. We come and dump on him and mm -hmm. then run away. Yeah. We didn't even wait <laughs> what he had to say. We just oh. bam, blast him and, and run. We can't, we can't do that. Mm -hmm. You know, spend some time with him. Yes. Make time. Amen. Make time. Well, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we right before I go to bed. I'll go pray and spend time with him. Mm -hmm. And while you're praying, you fall asleep. Fall asleep. <laughs> you wouldn't want God to do that on you, man. Huh? No. You wouldn't God to just turn you off and say, you know, your prayers ain't going nowhere. Hmm. Come on. <laughs> you got too quiet. <laughs> he wants his purpose for our lives to be the most important uh, purpose of our lives. Yes. He has called us into a passion of living. So live for Jesus. Romans yes. 12, 11 says this. It says, do not be lazy, but always work hard. Work for the Lord with a heart full of love for Him. And 12 says, be happy in your hope. Do not give up when troubles come. And do not let anything stop you from praying. Nobody can stop you from praying except you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We, we need to we need to pray. Pray is communicating with him. Mm -hmm. Okay, you don't have to copy me. You don't have to pray like me. I hope you don't. <laughs> 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 but pray the way he knows you. He knows you already. Just yes. pray and talk to him. Yes. But we all need to have a prayer life. Yes. Amen. Amen. The NIV Romans uh, put same same uh, scripture in the uh, NIV says. Never be lacking or lazy in zeal, passion, mm -hmm. but keep your spirit, spiritual fervent, passion, serving the Lord. Mm -hmm. 
12 says, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, mm. prayer, I mean faithful in prayer. Mm -hmm. So here, passion, talking about the fervor, the commitment, mm -hmm. the dedication, the zeal, the excitement mm -hmm. that we have doing other things. Mm -hmm. And you know, I see some of you at the football game. I see some of you at the basketball game. And man, you was shouting and you was jumping and you was hollering and telling the referees and the other team a few <laughs> things, you know. <laughs> but you was moving. I said, wow, I can't believe, brother. I can't believe, sister. They don't even move like that in church. <laughs> and God says, you know, they don't even move that way when they talk to me. <laughs> we can use that. God gave you all these emotions. God gave you all this passion, but you got to use it for him. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Use it for him. I saw you out there. Next time you see me, Jesus told Peter, he says, you'll deny me three times before the cock crows. He didn't say anything else. When the cock crowed the third time, when the cock crowed, yeah. Peter turned and looked, mm -hmm. and Jesus looked, mm -hmm. and they looked at each other, mm -hmm. and he knew what Jesus had told him. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, when I look at you and I say, mm -hmm, I saw you at the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you come to church quiet as a mouse. <laughs> Don't say a thing. Say, oh my God. I saw you. The Lord just gave me a, a vision. <laughs> he showed me. You. <laughs> jumping and hollering. Saying a few things to that police officer that stopped you. <laughs> oh God. It was not nice. <laughs> Fervent, be fervent, yeah. be passionate. Fervent mm -hmm. means to be hot, mm -hmm. boiling, glowing, yes. glowing hot yeah. for Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. And yes. only you can change that. Uh -huh. You can make that change. Amen. Yes. I don't care what people say. They don't care what, what they're doing. They don't care what they say. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And they don't care who they hurt. Exactly. They're going to say it. They're going to do it. Yeah. 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 So what about us? Mm -hmm. Say, hey, I'm a child of God. Amen. Fervent also means to be earnest, serious, to be excited, to be thrilled, yes. to be energetic, to Amen. be active. That's what I saw in you. Mm -hmm. I saw you energetic. I saw you uh, mm -hmm. active, mm -hmm. doing things. Man, I would have never thought you would do something like that. <laughs> but you was. <laughs> you were. <laughs> Revelation 3.16 says, and I mean, so because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I will spit, this is the NIV, I will spit you out of my mouth. The King James says, vomit. Yeah. Vomit. It means just yeah. let it all out. Mm. Uh -uh. Passion people are people who are consumed with following, mm. fulfilling what God has called them to do. Yes. Yeah. I am going to do what he's called me to do make yourself available you know why he's not using you because you're not making yourself available amen make yourself available no him i said me okay <laughs> i will <laughs> passion is a motivating force that causes them to see their dreams come true passion empowers them to overcome fear to overcome doubt and to overcome discouragement yeah we're talking about passion amen Passion keeps them moving forward in spite of how many setbacks. That's right. Amen. That's right. How many setbacks? Man, I've been down so many times. Mm -hmm. I, I, well, I'm not even going there. But people give up on you. Yeah. And you give up on yourself because mm -hmm. you've been setback so many times. Mm -hmm. But don't give up. That's it. That's keep it. going. Keep going. Keep pressing. And keep pressing. Amen. And you'll overcome because God made you to be a listen. He made you to be a winner, not a loser. Yes. So don't give up on yourself. He made you mm -hmm. and he called you. And he equipped you to do everything he wants you to do. So don't give up on yourself. He's not giving up on you. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Many of God's people never see their, pa their, their mission because reality, because they lack the passion. They lack the zeal. They lack the enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. You know? I love serving the military. But you know what? I love serving God more. 
you you got something that you really enjoy doing but have that same passion or yes. more yes. to serving him amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. more passion amen. caused the disciples in the early church to turn the world upside down mm -hmm. you know people are going to be jealous about you because I wish she wouldn't do that no more. I wish he wouldn't do that no more. You know, making, you know, embarrassing me like this. I'm pressing over the things of God and saying what the Word of God says, you know, confessing the Word, ministering to people. Since you're ministers of reconciliation, reconciling people to God. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it when I'm around. You know, it's good. It embarrass people. He says, if you embarrass me, I'll be ashamed of you. So, you know, hey, mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. If they're going to cuss you out, they'll do it in front of whoever's around. Yes, yes. They ain't going to hold back. <laughs> and, and you're afraid to say, God loves you? Mm. Are you afraid to say, I'm a child of God? Mm. No. All right. <laughs> mm. Passion caused the disciples in the early church to fulfill their yes. mission. Yes. You know how you're going to fulfill what God called you to do? Mm -hmm. By having that passion. Yes. And continue to follow Him. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Acts 17, uh, 17 6 in the upper five says, But when they failed to find them, they dragged Jason and some of the brethren before the city authorities cried, These men have turned the world upside down. <laughs> oh, God. Now they have come here. Mm -hmm. And the NI, uh, let me read it to you from the uh, New Eleven translation. It says, They found them, they dragged them. They dragged Jason and some of the other believers instead and took them before the city council. Mm. He says, Paul and Silas caused all this trouble <laughs> all over the world, they shouted. And now they are here in our city, disturbing mm. our city. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Church. As children of God, we must disturb our city. Yes. <laughs> Martha, Alpine, Fort Davis, Presidio, <laughs> Big Bear, OJ, wherever, yes. wherever you happen to be. Maybe yes, next yes. week we'll talk about this. Be the passionate. Be mm -hmm. the child of God. You need to be wherever God places yes, you. Yes. You know, instead of complaining, well, you know, I hate Martha. I wish I was in New York. No. I hate Mark. I wish I was in Odessa. Mm. I hate where I'm at right now. Mm. I would love to be here. <laughs> no, you know what you? You turn that around and yes. love and be passionate. That's it. Be the salt and light where you're at. Be the salt and light where you're at. That's it. And enjoy where God has placed you. Yes. You know what a flower does? Mm. If it falls in a crack, mm. that seed grows. Yeah. You see seeds growing on a crack. You've seen seeds growing on the side of a, uh, mm -hmm. a, a cliff. Mm -hmm. You've seen them growing in different places. Mm -hmm. But you know what that seed is going to do? It's going to grow. Yes, it it's going to bloom. Mm -hmm. Even on a crack. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not the right place for it. Well, you know what? Wherever God has me, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. bloom for God. Yes, yes. Amen. Everybody mm -hmm. loves a beautiful bloom. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves flowers. Yes. And they bloom so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves it. So I'm going to bloom wherever God has me. And I'm not going to have an attitude about it. That's it. You know, if you're going to have an attitude, guess what? Mm -hmm. You're bringing more problems on yourself. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. bloom where God plants you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Woo. Hallelujah. Praise <laughs> Passion caused Peter and John to deny the religious leaders on their day. Mm -hmm. And they told him, they told him not to preach on Jesus again. Guess what happened? <laughs> they continued preaching about Jesus. He says, don't do that again. We're going to let you go, but don't do that no more. It don't matter. Keep on. You know, in the last days, it's going to get worse. If you don't know, this time you know. It's going to get worse in the last days. And you got to have some spiritual roots. You better have some spiritual roots because if you don't, you're going to flow with Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Them, yeah. You gotta have spiritual roots, yes, so that nothing can shake you. That's it. Amen. That's when the it. storm comes, you know. So you know what? Mm -hmm. That storm is my God. <laughs> he's the meanest storm, yeah. <laughs> and he's gonna change everything. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he told Satan, you know, say, you seen the storm? Mm -hmm. That's me. I'm your biggest storm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your. <laughs> 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 First night there. Hallelujah, I'm here with you. Yeah. <laughs> Their following and passion caused them to ignore the threats. Mm -hmm. I'm standing on the word. I'm mm -hmm. standing on what the word of God says. Yeah. Tells me, yeah. okay. Second Peter one and seven says this: For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and of a sound mind. Yes. He's not given us a spirit of fear. That's it. You know what's the opposite of fear? Faith. Mm -hmm. When you get full yeah. of the word of God, your yeah. fears have to go. Yes, it does. And I'm going to step out in faith. Uh -huh. Amen. Believers, walking out in faith, mm -hmm. wherever you go, not being fearful anymore. Passion caused them to be bold and declare. Mm -hmm. uh, Acts 4, 20 through 22 says, We cannot stop telling about everything we have seen and heard. The council then threatened them further. But they finally let them go because they didn't know how to punish them without starting a riot. <laughs> for everyone was praising God for this malicious yes. sign. The healing of a man who had been lame for more than 40 years. Yeah. And you know God's going to use you mightily mm -hmm. in setting people free. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Healing people. By speaking his word, amen. By Jesus yeah. Christ, they will be healed, amen. He says, go and lay hands on the sick and they shall recover, amen. Passion will not allow them to be silent. That's it. <laughs> Passion of believers follow, stay hungry and mm -hmm. thirst for more of him. Amen. Are you a passionate believer? Mm. Mm. They follow, stay hungry yeah. and thirst for more of him. Yes, when you're hungry and thirsty, you overflow yeah. you run over my cup runneth over yes and you know it says when I, my cup is running over uh -huh. he says, out of my innermost being shall flow rivers, rivers. of living water yes. the word of god is going to flow out of you and say man i can't believe that's me mm -hmm. yeah that's you the word of god is just flowing out yes. of you praise yeah. god you finally release yourself mm -hmm. and god is able to use you yeah. don't never say never 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 say uh, I'm a bad reader. Don't ever say, uh, I can't never learn scripture. <laughs> Don't ever say anything negative to what the word of God says. The Bible says you can do all oh. things through Christ who strengthens you. That means learning scripture. Yes. That means learning the word yes. and getting the word in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And don't ever sell yourself short of what God has called you and qualified to right. do. Amen. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> When you overflow, his word comes out of you. Mm -hmm. But you got to open your mouth. Yes. You know the worst Christian is a defeated Christian. Oh boy. They confess Jesus as the Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. but they never did anything to grow in the things yes. of God. And they never did anything to open their mouth and confess mm -hmm. the word of God. That's a defeated Christian. I would love God to say, Jesus to say welcome home, good and faithful servant than to say, depart from me I yes. never knew you that's right, that's right you know, well you know, when time comes you know, we'll spend some time together but you know, tomorrow's not promised tomorrow may be too late <laughs> John seven thirty eight says this he that believeth on me as the scriptures has said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water amen come on i want that for me yeah yep. i mean i want that for me but i have to do something right. i have to get open the bible and get my nose in there mm -hmm. and get to reading it amen yeah. one scripture at a time you don't have to learn the whole bible yes, no I don't, right. you, just one scripture at a time mm -hmm. and next thing you know it's going to be coming out of you yeah amen passion wouldn't allow david to cower down and hide you know when uh when the, when the giant started saying things about his God, said, wait a minute. <laughs> he pressed forward. He stepped out in faith. He says, you know, my God, greater is he that sent me than he that sent me. Well, I'm just saying this, but he was pressing on because the same God that delivered him from the bear 
and the lion. He's going to deliver me from this giant. Uncircumcised Philistine, you know. <laughs> so one day Jesse, and one day Jesse uh, sent David to take food to his three older brothers who were fighting God's enemies, the Philistines. When David arrived, he ran to the battlefield mm -hmm. and he heard the giant Goliath taunting, defying the armies of the living God. Mm -hmm. Defying, meaning challenging, confronting, yeah. Yeah. disregarding, disobeying. Mm -hmm. Who is this pagan Philistine anyway that he is allowed, allowed to do this? Mm -hmm. All are afraid except Goliath's challenges to fight him. Mm -hmm. King Saul heard David is willing to go mm -hmm. and call him. But when Saul sees David, he says, you are but a boy. <laughs> Too young. Don't know enough. You don't have the training that it takes. David had been spending time with God. Yes. And God picked him to be the next king of Israel. Mm. So, who are you? Mm. You're nothing but a boy. Mm. Remember, they tried to pick the next king of Israel from the family of Jesse. Mm. From the, and the seven ones that passed by says, nope, 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 nope. The man of God says, nope, nope, nope. Do you have another one? Oh, yeah. We have one more son. But he's only watch he's over there watching, taking care of the sheep. You know, he's, he's a shepherd over there. He said, well, bring him. And guess what? That little nobody. And the way the people see you, that little nobody. The man of God says, that's him. God chose you. See yourself that way. God chose you to be the next king of Israel. He says, wow, out of nothing. Yeah, you're somebody. Yes. You're somebody going somewhere to happen for God. Amen. Yeah. He says, you're not qualified. You're not equipped. You're not good enough. Mm. Remember who called you mm -hmm. and who's backing you. Mm -hmm. And David knew this. Mm -hmm. David explained to Saul. And he has killed a lion and a bear that tried to carry off his uh, his uh, family's uh, sheep. Yeah. <laughs> God has seen me through uh -huh. all the problems and setbacks. Yes. Goliath, a type of Egypt and the world of trying to destroy you, mm -hmm. must become like one of them. Yeah. David says, and then Saul replies, go and may God be with you. <laughs> Go and may God be with you. Well, he already knew. He just told God is with me. You know, wherever you happen to go, know that God is with you. Know that God is backing you. Amen. Know these things. <laughs> so David finds five smooth stones, puts them in his little shepherd bag, takes his sling, and goes out to fight the giant. When the giant saw a mere boy coming, he shouts, just come to me and I'll give you flesh to the birds and the wild animals. David shouted in reply, you come to me with a sword, a spear, and a javelin. He says, but I come to you in the name of Lord Almighty, mm -hmm. in the God of armies of Israel, whom you have defiled. Mm -hmm. I come in his name. I come in God's name. And know wherever you happen to go, wherever God plants you, mm -hmm. wherever God sends you, yes. that you come with his name of the Lord. Name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. You come in the name of the Lord. Yes. So praise God. Today the Lord will conquer you and I will kill you and cut off your head. <laughs> <laughs> and at that David, listen, this is what David did. You're talking about a little guy mm -hmm. and a big giant. Giant is mm -hmm. huge. Yeah. David ran. David ran towards his giant or Goliath. Mm -hmm. So you know what? You don't have to back out of your That's problems, it. your That's giant it. problems anymore. You can run to your problems. Mm -hmm. God is backing me. God is going to change everything. Mm -hmm. Takes a stone from his bag, puts in the sling, and hurls it, and straight into the giant's forehead. Mm -hmm. And seeing David had no words, he ran and pulled Goliath's sword from the seat. Mm -hmm. David used it to kill the giant and yeah. they cut off his head. When the Philistines saw their champion, the giant, is dead, uh -huh. they were terrified and they ran away. Yeah. And of course, all of a sudden, the Israeli army is yeah. brave. Yeah. 
and they chased after them. <laughs> and of course, they, they, win, they win the battle. So first God, we, we don't, we, we're not going to uh, do all this today. So we're going to be stopping right there. Listen to one more and then we'll close it. It says, Jeremiah 1, 6 to 8, as a youth, you may be, there may be times, um, let me, let me see what I have. As you, you, you many times become afraid mm -hmm. to follow God's command. Jeremiah was a young person, mm -hmm. a young boy. And he said, well, he was afraid at first. But God told him, do not be afraid, for I am with you. Jeremiah took courage and preached as God instructed him to do. Yes. Like David and Jeremiah, you must trust God. Yes, yes. You too can learn not to to be afraid and That's remember it. again second timothy 1 7 says god has not given us a spirit of fear but a power love and have a sound mind amen and we can do all things through christ because god is with us all the time he said the bible says he never leaves you nor forsakes you uh -huh. he is with us and know that i can do all things through all him things. amen so yeah. praise god that you receive it yeah. <laughs> i receive it that's for me mm. i'll take it all you know, and we don't want to close unless you have an opportunity. Today may be your day. You know, you've waited so long, but still, it's never too late. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is just say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Mm -hmm. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And he's going to receive you. And from this day on, mm -hmm. you can start living for him. You can start growing for him and going yeah. for him and following him. That's what yes. we're teaching, you know. Follow Jesus. You know, we've been following the world and following losing things all, all our lives. Mm -hmm. And it's time we follow Jesus. Yes, it is. You know, with Jesus, we can do all things. Without all Jesus, things. we can do nothing. Mm -hmm. So praise God. Receive him as your Lord and Savior. If you're hurting, just say, Father, we just thank you. And by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. Mm -hmm. This is, my body is the temple mm -hmm. of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And I... Receive no malfunctions. I forbid any malfunctions in my body yes. in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. You know, once you accept Christ, this body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Amen. Yes. And Lord, I just thank you that this body has to function normally. Yes. The way you created it to function, Father. Yes. So you, we confess that by Jesus Christ we are healed totally from crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. I receive it. Do you receive it? Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Lord. It's time to give. Yes. So, if you're watching and listening, you'd like to give, just look at our website, nbcbigben.com, and hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. God loves you, and we love you. And remember, this is the day the Lord has made, and I'm going to follow Jesus. Amen. Follow you. Yeah. Praise God. We love you. God bless.